My name is Yuna. This is my husband, Vyuta. I am currently pregnant and am expected to give birth soon. My husband and I are very close and we live together with no problem in particular. If I were to pick one thing... I'm here! Open the door! Come on, open it quickly! That would be my mother-in-law. She lives in the neighborhood and she would come sometimes and make a fuss in front of our entrance door. I honestly don't want to let her in the house. That is because she is just so dirty. You don't have to brush your teeth. If something happens, the dentist will fix it for you. I'm sure you don't have to take a shower every day. Dirt is washed away with sweat. It's fine. Ugh, she's extremely sloppy. She smells in the summer, and her mouth stinks even in the winter. Although my husband was raised by such a mother, he likes to keep clean. When I was young, I went to my friend's house and was surprised at how a normal house's kitchen wasn't sticky and didn't smell weird. After that, I did all the cleaning in the house. His mother made him realize what he shouldn't be, and thus has been doing the laundry and cleaning the house since he was a little child. Dad lived far away for work and was rarely home, so there was no choice but for me to do it. Because of that, I have a good set of housework skills. After my husband left his mother's house, it turned back into the pigsty it once was. Thus, we never go over. Dad got sick of mom and her mess, so they live separately now. So you can treat mom like she doesn't exist. You can pretend you're not home even when she comes to visit. Because I was told that, I tried to stay quiet at home until she leaves, but... Hey! I'm telling you to open the door! I bought ice cream that Ryuta likes! It'll melt! It's melting! Melting! She will make a racket in front of the house, so I had to let her in. When I peeked outside from our window, I saw the neighbors whispering about us. This mother is a real nuisance! You finally opened the door, huh? Here, you. This is the ice cream. Wow, this is cute! I want it. Give me! I can't! That's the brooch that Ryuta gave me for my birthday! Why not? You could just buy another one. Ah, this eco bag over here is cute too. Give me. Please stop. Mrs. Lisa, you have one already, don't you? Oh, that bag became all dirty and sticky with some kind of liquid. I can't use it anymore. Ha 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 As she gave me a deep laugh, she took out the eco bag from her purse. Ugh, stop. Don't open it here. Disgusting. Please, just go home! As soon as she took it out, a strong, piercing stench spread throughout the room. The bottom of the eco bag was black! No way! It's moving? There's something moving inside! A bug? Get out! I can't! I realized that it was a black, crawly insect! I pushed my mother-in-law's back with all my might and got her out of the house. She was furious, but there was no way I was gonna let her open that horrific bag inside my house! After that, I went around the house opening the windows and letting fresh air in. But I could still feel the smell lingering in the room. I deeply regretted that I let her into the house. So your mother came here today. She brought the ice cream inside the freezer. I see. Did she do anything weird? It was a close call, but we're fine. But I really don't want her to come anymore. Even after the baby is born, I don't want to let her inside this house. Uh, of course. You don't have to. We don't know what she'll do to the baby anyway. After that, I got into my last month of pregnancy and gave birth to a healthy baby. Thanks to my husband who protected me, my mother-in-law didn't come to the hospital. Even after birth, we only showed the baby's face and didn't have her come closer than that. She did ask, why don't you let me hold the baby? And got upset, but... There was no way I was putting my baby into those unwashed arms with unidentified powder of dirt all over. Even after that, because my husband was watching out for his mother, we were able to avoid her sudden visits, and we spent a peaceful period after birth. But at last, Mrs. Lisa did something unbelievable. Two months after giving birth, one day, we invited our relatives over to show everyone the baby. 
My parents and my husband's grandparents and his father who lived separately also came. We spent a peaceful time all together. Everyone who came were decent people, with common sense, and nobody was unsanitary like Mrs. Lisa. I was fully relieved, however. Oh, I got curious after seeing so many cars parked outside your house. So you were having a party, huh? We had the window open to let the fresh air in, but my mother-in-law came into the house through the window. My mother and father, everyone was startled. Mom, don't suddenly come when you're not invited. That's right. You shouldn't barge in from a place like that. How rude can you be? What's wrong? If you're talking about being rude, aren't you and Ryuta the rude ones for not inviting me to such a fun party like this? My, the baby! How adorable! I only got to see little glimpse at the time, so I want to take a good look today. Please stop! Don't come close to Rina! Or at least wash your hands! I know you haven't been taking a bath. Don't touch little Rina with dirty hands like that. Besides, don't you have a fever? Your face is red, and your eyes are weird too. I'm fine. I drank a little too much last night, so my face is slightly bloated. My eyes are red because of hay fever. I'm perfectly healthy. There, there, it's Grandma. Ah! Just when I thought she forcefully took Rena away from me and held her, she suddenly sneezed right into her face. No, Rena! Mom, how could you? Yuna. Go and wash Rena's face right away. Oh, come on. Don't make it a big deal. Everyone sneezes, right? As I saw my <laughs> laughing mother-in-law's nose drip, I almost felt like fainting. But there was no time for me to lose consciousness. I took Rena to the bathroom and washed her face. I'm so sorry, Rena. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. Should we sanitize with alcohol too? I'm really sorry about my mother. I don't want to even think of her as my parent. Rina was surprised and started crying. But after we wiped her face clean and comforted her, she became happy again. When we cradled her, she fell asleep. <sighs> I hope nothing happens to her. I pray that no weird disease gets to her. After putting Rina to bed and asking my mother to watch over her, I went back into the living room. I had to warn my mother-in-law properly. However, my burning energy died down quite quickly. M mr Mark? Dad, what's this? My mother-in-law was down on her knees in front of my father-in-law. Please, if I am kicked out of that house, I have nowhere to go! Shut up! You think I can forgive you after doing that to my dear grandchild? You don't do the housework. You don't take a bath. You don't brush your teeth. I got sick of you and left the house five years ago. I told you then that I will divorce you someday for sure. So you should save money for that and get ready to leave. I thought you were joking. I thought there was no way you would leave me because you loved me. My love for you died down a long time ago. I just waited until Ryuta becomes an adult so that he won't have a hard time in a single parent household. Ryuta, I'm thinking of having a divorce. Of course, I agree. If anything, I have to thank you for putting up with this until now. Ryuta, you too? I'm your one and only mother, you know? I'm the one and only grandmother for little Rina! Aren't I important? I should be by your side, right? One and only? My mother is also Rina's grandmother, you know? You just shut up! To begin with, you're a good-for-nothing wife who won't even open the door when I'm here! Don't butt into this! Well, you're quite a good-for-nothing wife yourself, for sure. Yuna is way better than you, as a wife and as a mother. Oh my, how could you say that? Anyway, we're having a divorce. Leave the house you're in right now. I'm breaking that house and putting that land out for sale. Y you're gonna clear the land out for sale? I'm sure the kitchen, living room, and shower room are all sticky and dirty anyway. The bathroom has a huge spider web, right? I know without even looking. Who would ever buy such a house? So I'm breaking it down. Give it up. You just think about leaving the house. No way! After being told that strictly, my mother-in-law turned into a white pile of ash. After that, she continued complaining, but she was told that she won't get her share of division of property if she continued making a fuss, and reluctantly gave in to the divorce and left the house. Ryuta, why don't you live with me? See, it'll be easier for you if you have a babysitter, right? I'm afraid she'll get some disease if she's with you, so there's no way we're living together. Yuna, you'd like to live with me, right? I'll take care of Rina for you, so let's live together! 
I refuse. Not only do I refuse living with you, but I don't ever want to see your face again. Why? Why? What's wrong? At the end, it was decided that my mother-in-law live in the hotel that a relative owned and worked there. However, the owner of the hotel was a very strict person. Ryuta, help! I'm told to wipe the floors every day, and my back aches terribly. And I have to clean the sheets every day too. I can't anymore. Help! She left a message on the phone like that, but my husband deleted it without saying a word. It's all her own fault for living a lazy, sloppy life until now. In your next life, please leave a clean, hygienic lifestyle. As for Rina, after that, she luckily didn't catch any disease, and she's growing healthily by the day. I'm so glad. I hope we can live peacefully from now on. For sure. I've had enough of that dirty old hag. Oh, it seems like Dad's here. Little Rina! Grandpa's here! Here, a new toy for you! Whoops! I have to wash my hands first, huh? Grandpa is head over heels for Rina, and Rina is always happy to see him. I really hope our peaceful life continues like this.